Ooh, look at that. Fine tip, Creative Studio. Welcome back to another unboxing. So in this video, we're checking out the Star Wars Ahsoka Tano 1-6 scale milestone statue, a 2022 web exclusive from Diamond Select Toys and Gentle Giant LTD. Looking at the box art, you can see an image of the statue there on the front. Star Wars Ahsoka Tano 1-6 scale statue. The sides have a different view of the statue. And then on the back there, Milestone Star Wars, a close-up image of the portrait there. It looks really cool. In the corner there, you can also see the companion piece, which is the Darth Maul. Stick around to the end. We're going to check out that companion piece as well. This piece retails for 250 bucks, still available on the Gentle Jaya website. We'll be sure to put links in our video description. Now let's check it out. As with the other milestone statues, you got a certificate of authenticity. Looks like we've got number 125 out of 1000. All right, as you can see, you've got the one six scale Ahsoka figure. You got a base, you got her lightsabers. Let's go ahead and assemble this and check it out. Ooh. That's pretty sweet. On the bottom there, you've also got handwritten limited edition number 125 out of 1000. Grab the figure. Very nice. Everything looks really good on this piece. The paint looks excellent. And so you can see you've got the pegs on the bottom here. We're going to just slide those right into that hole. All right. Put this one lightsaber here, it goes on the back. Get it on this little turntable. Ooh, look at that, she looks awesome. All right, first impressions look really good on this piece. This is pulling from season seven of the Clone Wars. You can see her in a Clone Wars outfit. She's got the dual lightsabers, the reverse grip on the lightsaber in her left arm. Great pose as she's ready for battle with Darth Maul, which is the companion piece we'll show you at the end. Pretty dynamic pose with this. Paint and sculpt on this looks really good. Starting with the portrait, chiseled sculpting throughout. Lips, nose, and brow looks great. The eyes are outstanding, and the paint job is super crisp. As you can see, spinning it around, the mandrels look good as well. Not only is their line work sculpted into those breaks, but the paint is nice and crisp. You also got this slight fading on the inside of that blue. As you move down to the torso, the suit looks good. You got some sculpting in the chest there. Shoulders have some nice definition as well. I like how the paint job has some slight variations in that blue to show some wear. As you move into the arms, great job matching the flesh in the arms to the portrait. Nice definition in the arms there. You can see your muscles are kind of tense, ready for battle. You have some shading in the muscles as well to show that definition. And as you move down to the gauntlet, the paint is nice and crisp and you've got some nice kind of texture in the paint. Great definition in those fingers. The lightsaber is like a clear blue resin, catches the light really well. The other arm looks great as well. As you can see, she's got the reverse grip in the left arm. Very cool. I love how dynamic that is. The only thing to make those better would be a little LED light to make them glow. Would be pretty sweet. And as you move down into her tunic, more of this great level of sculpting with all these breaks in the panels that come down her hips. Then as you move down to the legs, you can see she's got these armored knee pads and kind of armored plates on the front of her boots. You got some slight shifts in color, but you also have these nice kind of highlights. It's like some silver dry brushing to really catch some of that sheen and add some wear and tear to the metal. Outstanding job in the paint. You got this nice kind of square base, about an inch and a half thick, nice angles. I like how they have this kind of trim, goes all the way around. And I like how they got these shifts in paint from the dark gray to the light gray. On the back end here, you got this fire and smoke. It's like a transparent resin. Looks cool. I like how the smoke has the softer edges. And then when looking at the fire, you got these nice sharp edges, really reads like fire, not overly done. I think that looks great. And then on the front end here, very cool. How you got like this lightsaber scrape, half moon shape. It does kind of read like the lightsaber just kind of tore it up. It's still kind of melted and sizzling. Looking at the dimensions on this, the base is about nine by nine square. The height on the figure comes to about 10 and a half inches. Very cool piece. Looking at how this stacks up against other six scale figures, we got a Hot Toys here, another Hot Toys Boba Fett. As you can see, scales well. There she is, haired up with the Darth Maul. 
set looks fantastic ahsoka tano darth maul about to duel it out these both retail for 250 bucks still available on the gentle giant website as always check for links in our description so awesome piece ahsoka tano one six scale moss stone statue from Diamond Select Toys, Gentle Giant. The paint and sculpt are perfect. Scales nicely with other 1-6 scale figures. The pose is very dynamic. Base looks great. I love how they added a few other things into the base to really show some action with this figure. Retest for 250 bucks. Still available on the website, Gentle Giant LTD. As always, check for links in our description. We'll also be reviewing the Darth Maul milestone statue companion piece very soon. All right, that's it for this unboxing. I think it's fantastic. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Fine tip, Creative Studio.